Today's video will cover several pro tips that are going to drastically improve your game with Valkyrie in Apex Legends. Valk is one of the best legends in all of Apex, and she actually has a really high skill ceiling, meaning you can do some really awesome things with her if you really know how to master her abilities, and this video will help you to master this high flying legend in no time. Before we hop into these tips, the first step to mastering Valk is going directly into your settings and changing her jet packs to hold versus toggle this will give you much more control while you're mid-flight and i highly recommend having this setting on hold Moving on to our actual tips, the number one tip that I can provide for you, and it's a foundation for the other tips as well, is you need to use Valk's jetpacks in small, quick bursts. It's not very often that you ever wanna hold the jetpack ability for longer than two seconds, maybe if you're just going really high to reach the highest level in a building, but a lot of the times, you gotta think of this jetpack as like a double jump ability that can allow you to quickly accelerate forward, laterally, or upwards to gain quick momentum and reach places quicker than any other legend. Now this brings me to tip number two, the escape. One major mistake that I see many new Valkyries or Valks that really just don't know how to play her, they'll just honestly hold down the jetpack trigger and try and dodge midair to avoid damage. And honestly, you're such a sitting duck when you try to fly too long with Valk. She does not have much speed once the initial acceleration starts with that initial press of the jetpack. So instead, when you need to make quick evasive maneuvers and escape with Valk, utilize quick bursts in succession to burst forward and then maybe move laterally to reach cover safely. This is the perfect example of using Valk's quick burst jetpacks and using some evasiveness to reach cover without taking much damage and getting back to my team. Tip number three is the bait and switch. Valkyrie, unlike most other movement legends, receives her speed boost or assistance with her movement through her passive ability, not her tactical, meaning that you can utilize her ability to increase speed and reach hard to reach places much more often than legends like Pathfinder or maybe Horizon. Now, small little huts and buildings or ledges, those are prime real estate for Valk. With Valk in any building with height, you can pretty much bait any legend in the game and this can allow you to draw out fights to heal and to try and take on entire squads to even win fights one versus three as a solo. For instance, if Pathfinder wants to come at you on the high ground or even horizon, they have to use their tactical. Once they reach your height, you can drop down and then if they chase you, then you can quickly take height again with your jetpacks to give you time to heal or reposition. Their tacticals will be on cooldown and you will have enough breathing room to then make your next move and make your next decision. Tip number four is to always fly to a a ledge and to not fly higher than the ledge when you're taking height. When you fly straight into the mantle animation, you're able to get your weapon out much quicker so you can be prepared to take shots immediately when you fly to the high ground. Tip number five, this is another tip that is similar to flying straight into the mantle animation, is to jump off walls in order to skip your animation or animation cancel and get your weapon out faster when you're mid-flight. For example, when you're mid-flight and you want to engage this enemy. You can fly, then press jump against the wall and your character will skip the animation with her hands and will be able to engage that enemy quicker with their weapon. This is also useful for switching weapons while mid-flight. You can press jump and then as soon as you input that jump button, quickly tap to switch weapons and you can switch in mid-air and be ready to engage that enemy when you hit the ground. So with me on an Xbox controller, all I have to do is hold that button to fly, then I can tap jump while midair and then hit Y immediately and then I can change weapons and boom, we're good to go. Getting into another couple tips regarding Valk and her tactical, you can utilize these both defensively and offensively. When enemies are trying to push a location and you need time to heal or to retreat, you can shoot your rockets at doors to try and slow pushing enemies. You can also aggressively utilize her rockets by shooting them and then immediately flying to that target's position for a quick kill. Or you can also switch to grenades like your Arc Star. I like 
combining arc stars or teammates grenades with Valk's tactical, especially in the end game of ranked when the ring is small. If Ash with her tactical can stun someone or somebody can hit somebody with an arc star, Valk can pair that ability to stun and then the entire team can chuck grenades for some free kills. Also, if you ever want to shoot rockets indoors, you can actually crouch in most buildings to fire them indoors. Just do your best not to take the brunt of a rocket or you'll be stunned and slowed as well. Now, lastly, just a few tips with Valk's ultimate. It is the ultimate ability to get you out of a sticky situation at ranked. When you make sure you utilize the ultimate ability, make sure you use the highest ground so you can gain the most ground. Try and stay between 130 to 140 with your speed to reach the furthest distances. And then in pubs, you can use it to find more players for high kill games. And I also recommend on maps with balloon towers like World's Edge, you can use Valk's scanning ability and ranked by going up a balloon solo and then just quickly flying around the area and back to the bottom of the balloon to freely scout the area. If you guys want to see an ultimate Valk guide where I cover a ton of the intricate details inside and out, I did make an ultimate Valk guide like I do with most legends in the game. I'll include that in the link here below so you guys can check out my ultimate Valk guide or any other legends for that matter. And guys, I hope you learned something with these tips and thank you so much for watching. Make sure you drop a like if you learned something and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this to help you win more in Apex Legends. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. I'm Grizzy and I'm out. Peace.